guys, this is Paige. I just want to make this video because I was listening to this spoken poem about Jesus and in the poem, um, the guy was saying how like Jesus wanted you no matter the cost. And if you really think about it, he really did want us, even though the cost was so high, you know, I mean, if you really think about this, that to to redeem us, the cost was like him suffering that badly and dying for us. That's how much he treasures us, you know? And I mean, it's good to know how much you're, you're worth to God, how much you're valuable to him, how much you're treasured, that, that it's like worth the death of Jesus Christ, and the blood, his blood. I mean, he died for us to have us, you know? That's a very, very high cost, you know? And what he wants from us, I mean, is also there's a cost to it, you know? But it's not as high as his cost, you know? <laughs> well, actually, like, we should be willing to die for him. But, I mean, his torture was nowhere near we could ever experience that, you know? Um, yeah, that's like a torture... I mean, the feeling I get from it is that he took the torture of hell from every single person that that comes to him, like f hell for eternity. Like that's my understanding, and I don't. You can't even understand that level of torture. It wasn't even just the physical torture that he received. It was like the spiritual torture of hell for each one of us for eternity. The punishment. That's how much pain it was. And God, God and Jesus were like, this is the only way we can have them, you know? <laughs> and it's just beautiful if you really think about it. Like, this is the only way I can have them back. They're worth it, you know? <laughs> That's how much he loves us, you know? Because people could think, oh, if God just wanted us back, you know, he can just take us back. But he is a just God. He won't go against you know, um, his nature. So he couldn't, like, since he's a holy God, he can't fellowship with people who are wicked. And we're wicked without Jesus Christ. So Jesus had to die so we could become holy through him, you know, so he could fellowship with us again. And if you really think about it and the sacrifice and the pain he went through and how much he treasures us, it's like, it's insane. Like Satan doesn't want us to think that he, he wants us to feel worthless, you know, when like we are worth Jesus's death, you know, even if only one of us in the world was there, like Jesus would have died just for one of us and had that much pain, you know, like that, that's how much he treasures each person that comes to, to him. He treasures each one. Each one is is hugely valuable to him. Hugely, you know? That's why when we talk to people, we should understand that they're very valuable to God, even if it's just one person. Yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'll, I'll post the poem underneath here. This guy, he, he does like spoken poetry for God, and some of his stuff is really good. Um, yeah. I just, I just love thinking about that, how much, like, we're treasured by him, you know? Like, you know that the pearl of great price, like, how the kingdom of heaven is, like, the pearl of great price, you know? Like, Jesus is the pearl. If you think about it, to him, we're the pearl of great price because he gave up everything. God gave up everything. He gave up his son for us. So we're like his pearl and he's like ours. It's like two ways. That's how I see it. If you don't believe that way, that's okay. But that's how I see it. And I think it's so beautiful. He saw that we were so valuable that he just wanted us no matter what. You know? It's, it's just awesome. And even Jesus, like, he went to the Father and he's like, Father, if, you know, you could take this cup from me. Because he knew it was so much suffering. But he, I think... When he was doing that, it was, he was kind of just like, is there any other way that we could save them? Is there any other way that we could save them? And God was like, no. <laughs> and he's like, okay, Father, 
this is the only way. That's how I kind of take it through the spirit. Like it was, it, and it was also him, us showing, him showing us that like, you know, it's God's will and we have to submit to his will, you know, but Jesus wanted us to be saved, you know, it's not like he did that because, um, he didn't want us to be saved. He did that because he wanted to, like, he just wanted to kind of like petition the father and be like, is there another way? Please take this from me if there's another way. And, and God's just like, no, this is the way I want it to be done, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, yeah, so we're like his pearls. We're, we're the gifts, you know? That, um, like, if you see that one video I made, we're a gift to Jesus, you know? We're very, very, very valuable to him. Extremely, you know? Um, he treasures us. We're his treasures, you know? It's not just about our works or, oh, bring glory. He actually loves us and wants to know us, you know? Like, he died so he could know us, you know? It's just so beautiful. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. All right. Be blessed. Have a good day.